Hi everyone and welcome back. So here we are with the React basic certification test. Earlier we have already done the Angular certification. Uh, this video we are covering React and there are two questions and we, get, we are getting 90 minutes. So let's go to the test. Uh, slideshow app and sortical sorting articles. Let's see this slideshow. Okay, we have this kind of a slideshow. Okay, first we will go through the, the problem statement, what it is looking for. Slideshow, it looks like we are just doing next previous and we have to disable and enable the buttons based on where we are like if we are on the first one then the previous one should be disabled we have like array of strings and we are just displaying them here inside a slideshow right so it's just like a basic slider kind of thing where you have a next on the previous right and when you click on to the next it should take you to the next slide and when you are clicking on the previous it should take you to the previous slide okay so what is important thing here let's talk about this question read this properly your task is to complete the slides.js slide component takes an array of slides now let's see the code that will give us the clear picture so slides is taking slides as an input right and here we have uh, some kind of a navigation so we have two different buttons so this is a slide and this is index.js these are the slides we are passing this slides to the app component the app component has a slides and this is our slides component okay in the slides component we have three buttons next previous restart and the slide text a title and text okay looks like a lot of things are happening here so what we need to do we need to add, add events to all these events like next previous restart and we just need to have a counter active counter which can track on which particular slide we are right so what we are going to do is there is a parent component the parent component would be able to handle the state management for this right so this is our parent component slides here we can use hooks right so let's say we can maintain the count because count is something which we have to track on which particular slide you are set count and use state initialize this count with zero now when you click on next and previous we will increase and decrease this so on the application launch clicking onto the next button next slide clicking onto previous button previous slide restart button take you to the first slide and this button is disabled when the current slide is the first one okay you can assume that the past slide array contains at least one slide okay and we have these ids we don't need to change them so now what all things we are going to have so this is a slider component from slider component we do have a lot of buttons right and those buttons are going to send the events multiple events let's say restart okay this restart event is coming from the child component and this is going to reset our count with zero that means we have to reset the the whole process so similarly we have restart next and previous so when the next event is coming from the child component we will just set next count is count plus one and here is previous so in the previous we will just set do a set count count minus one and we are passing the slide set count minus one it is set count and it is doing count minus one did I do anything wrong here? Set count count minus one. 
okay and we also need to pass the current slide current slide means the current count where you are and this is same as the count because we need to show the labels and all so we can just track everything inside a slide component using current slide now what all things we are passing in the props restart next previous current slide in the slide so we will define all of these things inside a props slide here is a next previous current slide and slides we already have these are the props we are passing to the slider component okay so we got all these events slides next previous restart is also there and we can bind all these events to these components right so restart when you click on to the restart what should happen is it should do on click event simple javascript on click event and what we are going to do we are going to trigger restart okay and then this will be disabled this is the condition that this should be disabled when your current slide is zero you cannot restart when you are at the slide zero okay there is a disabled condition is everywhere previous should be disabled when you are at the first slide because you cannot go previous right and the next button should be disabled when you are at the the slide length when you are at the when the current slide is same as the slides dot length so this slides we are getting slides dot length means you are at the last slide you cannot proceed further and then we can just have a on click method on click this is going to be the next and when you do on click on to the previous this is going to be previous on click next on click previous right and here we need to show some labels and how we are going to show them we already have the slides object so we already have slides we also have the current slide if this is not null right what we can do is we can get the the title there are two properties title and text so same kind of stuff we can do for the text i mean this is very basic example this is how we are able to extract the values title and text okay so what we are checking is we are getting all these things we are sending these props on click restart we are disabling this when you are at the current slide zero same as the next button should be disabled when you are at the last slide previous button should be disabled when you are at the first slide and then we are extracting the the title and the text from the slides array object okay we can run the tests because i think we have covered everything we are passing the slides array restart button should reset next will take you to the next at least we should get all the slides here because what i see is it is showing undefined which doesn't look correct okay i got the problem i think yeah sorry for that it's about this upper case right this is the problem so we'll just remove these and submit this because i kept this is upper case no it should be a lower case slides because this is the props this will fix all my test cases and now i will submit this run tests again hi everyone so here we are trying another attempt for the same set of questions let's see if we get any other set of questions and we should be able to submit them okay and this is my repository where i will keep adding these examples like react slider react sorting table slider where we were doing a slider with the previous and next for the react basics right and similarly i have added for the angular certification basics uh, here you have angular certification basics there are there were two different problems right weather app and the temperature converter those both the applications are mentioned here now let's see if we are getting any different set of questions or the same one 
slide show and the sorting article these are kind of similar apps which we have already solved what i will do is i will try to submit the sorting art sorting articles in the different way what i means different way is uh, whatever the approach i used earlier i want to change that approach and let's try something else so this is react sorting article we can use a use effect hook in this example to submit this so let's get this loaded and we are going to use the web id only so this is our component here we are getting the articles from the parent component so uh, this is little slow but that should be fine so in saf from app.js you can see we are getting the articles right so we can also write the the whole set of code inside our articles component and i mean there are two ways of doing it either you can do the filtering either we can set the filter and then pass the filter from the this component to the child component let's say here is our app.js component and we do have on click actions right so on click afforded and on click there is another event is recent let's say these are the two different events we have and what we will do is in this we are passing two things we can also pass the filter object and all the sorting and filtering we can have inside a child component and this filter is we are using huge state hook for that okay we can say is i do have two different kind of filter afvot and recent and we can mark them as a false because initially none of the filter will be applied and then we have these two different events afvoted and the recent i already have this approach afvoted and the recent so what it is doing it is just doing nothing but checking the current state and setting one flag true either afvot and either recent and then we are passing this filter to the child component so child component can decide okay in what particular way we need to sort the data we are getting the slides and we are getting the filter object and once we have a filter object we can decide okay we want to do a filter based on the uh, date or based on the afvots right and here we can write use effect hook because based on the filter change we need to change the sorting strategy right so we can say use effect before that we will also need to use use state hook because as state is getting changed as filter is getting changed we have to change the data also use state so here we can set the data <coughs> so data initially empty here inside a use effect hook we will decide what needs to be done the, here we will pass the dependencies right so in the dependencies we already know based on what all different parameters we wanted to change we wanted to apply the filter right so this is the dependency here we can pass okay whenever the code is getting changed the recent parameter is getting changed and these are the dependencies okay here we can set all the conditions okay like if if filter dot upvote if this is coming uh, this is getting changed right because this is all will be applied whenever you are applying any change to this if filter dot upvote or else if we are getting a change from filter dot recent this can be the case otherwise what we, what it will be otherwise we have to do just a sorting based on the upvotes this is the default sorting so here we will just uh, do the sorting and then set the state with the new data so here we are getting the new data we are not mutating the state directly articles dot sort and then we are applying it similarly we are doing is uh, in the recent 
we will be applying the sorting based on the date stamp right and same with the upwards we will be applying the sorting based on the upwards right so we are doing sorting and setting the data sorting and setting the data and then this is just a loop we are applying inside a t body so i will just replace this because we have already covered this example earlier i will just do copy paste <coughs> Okay, here I can do to string. So what we are doing here is we are maintaining the data property and showing the table based on that. But this set data, we are changing the data whenever there is a change in the filter. So because this is a boolean flag, either filter dot upwards will be true or the recent will be true. If both are false, then by default we are doing sorting based on the upwards b dot of quote minus a dot of quote means uh, we are going to uh, sort this in the descending order means the the of quotes which are higher will come first if we are doing it a dot of quotes minus b dot of quotes then it will be doing in the ascending order okay we can just run the tests we have imported all the required things use effect uh, youth state here and inside this we have imported uh, youth state and these are just a DOM events which are changing the filter either upward true or either recent true okay so let's wait for the test cases okay all are done we can submit this so this is just by using some another approach i wanted to give it a try this is all and the slider app slider app we have already covered so i'm not going to repeat that again okay so we are done with the basic certifications of the app thank you everyone